RT, formerly Russia Today, either the only global TV news outfit combating the Western anti-Russian media or Putin's key soft power propaganda weapon, peddling bias and distortion for the Kremlin, or perhaps a bit of both. We're not funded by the Kremlin. We are funded just like the BBC. Are you confused? why the BBC needs to be funded by the taxpayers. We are funded by the taxpayers as well. You're funded, you're funded by a license? We're not funded by a license. It, it's so that's not the BBC, is it? Right, but it's the same. Because well, it people... Be the same and, and it, it is yeah. the same. People in Great Britain do not choose whether to fund BBC or not. If they own a TV, they pay a tax. In Russia, if people live here, they pay a tax. And yeah. asking me, why does the government need to finance a TV network? Why does the government need to finance the BBC World Service? I don't know. You invented that. We're just followers. Just last month, standing feet from President Putin, France's new leader Emmanuel Macron explained why he banned RT journalists from his campaign. Russia Today and Sputnik did not behave as press organs and journalists, but behaved as organs of influence and propaganda. Lying propaganda, no more, no less. But if Macron is angry about all this, so is RT. Actually, our legal team right now are investigating an opportunity to go to court with that, because they spread complete lies about us. And on those lies, they built up their political campaign, their election campaign, their whole campaign was around, look at those Russians, they're after us, they're gonna, uh, don't let them um, uh, influence our election, stand strong, don't let them do that, look at them, they're trying, they did this and this and this, only we never did that. Already an established Kremlin correspondent, she cemented her reputation covering the Bezland siege in southern Russia. <laughs> President Putin once gave her a bouquet for her birthday. Margarita Simonyan appointed RT editor-in-chief at the age of just 25. But why, with all this success, the deep feeling of being persecuted? Well, we are. We are under sanctions. Aren't we persecuted? <laughs> it would be plain stupid not to feel persecuted when you're under sanctions. The head of uh, uh, the media that is here in this building is under sanctions. He cannot travel to Europe. He's under European sanctions for being a journalist apparently. And you're telling me why we feel persecuted? Because of that. It's, it's not out of the blue. If your country was under sanctions uh, from the rest of the Western world, you'd probably feel persecuted. RT has repeatedly breached UK impartiality regulations. Ofcom criticised the station for broadcasting a NATO debate with only anti-NATO pundits. Every day we watch programmes when people would go and talk about Russia and all those people would be anti-Russian. We see that every day. We feel that somebody should counter that. Regulatory trouble yet again for RT after they wrongly accused a Western broadcaster of faking a Syrian chemical weapons attack for a program called Truth Seeker. Every time they see a problem with us, we do and we correct it. Uh, once they had a problem with one of our shows, we took the show off the air completely. Yeah, we took right. it off the air like a day or two days after. She pointed out right, that UK fine, channels, including punished, Channel 4 News, also face regulators' your, sanctions from time to time. Instance, your channel, Channel 4, is now under investigation by Ofcom, and the consequences might be pretty harsh. RTE's online coverage of this week's anti-Putin demos in Moscow is headlined, Western media don't care about facts. The station clearly believes Moscow is in a global information war and Moscow must fight fire with fire. Critics say the Moscow-based channel's track record is only damaging Putin's reputation further. Alex Thompson, Channel 4 News, Moscow.